Hi, I'm Phil, and today I wanted to talk to you about which folio case you should get for your iPad Pro if, if you're looking for a folio case. I've just bought an 11-inch iPad Pro from the Certified Refurbish Program with Apple. I've done another video about that separately, so you should check that out because it's, it's good. And really, it's down to a choice between the Apple Smart Folio case and uh, one which gets really good reviews elsewhere, uh, which is the ESR protective case. Um, and really go into the detail on why I think you should actually go for the, the non-Apple branded case in this instance. So over the years, I've always gone for the Apple case. Um, Apple folio cases are renowned for being robust. They really fit the, uh, the, the iPads perfectly and they, they seem to last a lot better. So I've bought different cases over the years from different manufacturers and they all seem to have a small defect or uh, they mark easily or the, 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 you know, that you get grubby marks on them or whatever. It just doesn't seem to work as well over time. So what do you get when you buy a non-Apple branded case in 2023. Uh, like I said, I'd seen lots of good reviews about the ESR case, and this is it. Um, this is the kind of rugged, slightly uh, slightly more expensive version of the, the standard protective case for the iPad Pro 11. And you can see straight away that the main difference here is that you have uh, a magnetic strip that goes around the Apple Pencil and holds that in place uh, so that you don't lose that inside your bag when, you, when you're shoving it in your bag and, and walking around. Uh, but also it removes that kind of wobble that you get with the standard Apple Folio um, when it's closed. It just seems to be a little bit loose uh, um, and you get that kind of shift around with the front cover of the folio. Now this, this actually does, when you pull it around to the back, it does snap to the back and magnetically attaches that way round as well. Um, and that's really cool because it keeps the flap out of the way. The pen, it doesn't affect the way the pen charges or anything, which is really cool. Um, and you can see um, you have the, the normal modes uh, that you can put it in just like the Apple Folio. And also, it, importantly, it does close and uh, magnetically goes to sleep when uh, when it clicks onto the front of the iPad like that. But overall, I mean, the quality, you, you look at this and you think, there's no difference. I mean, it's, in fact, I would almost argue this seems a little bit more robust than the, the Apple Folio version. Uh, importantly though, 24 pounds this cost. And the Apple Folio version, which I would argue is not as good is 80 pounds. So this is functionally better, slightly more robust. Um, it does actually, uh, there's, a, there's a card that came inside the box here and that enables you to uh, scan, register your email address and then you basically get 24 month warranty on this. So uh, there's a lot to like and it doesn't cost very much money. Um, I would uh, I would definitely recommend the ESR protective case over the Apple Folio case. Time will tell whether it uh, stands up to um, the build same build quality as the Apple Folio. However, having had this on my iPad for a week or two now, um, I'm pretty confident that it's going to last just as long. So um, I would definitely recommend you check these out.